this is Mason. Now, a few months ago, a few weeks ago, I demonstrated my brand new Ruger 40 caliber concealed carry uh, out the box. I read all the reviews about the problems they had. And one thing made me a little curious, and I, I had to buy it, but one thing made me curious. Everyone said what a great customer service Ruger had. And think about it. The only way you would know they had a good customer service is if you were enough people were complaining about the product itself. So I brought the product, you can view the video, and I got it back from Ruger, uh, and this is what they did. They replaced the ejector, the extractor, the magazine latch, the magazine latch spring, the mag magazine latch uh, thumb, pr thumb, pr thumb, thumb piece, the slide stop assembly, the trigger assembly, and the trigger bar lifting spring. Uh, and, and, and that's what they replaced after one shooting, two clips. And everyone said the exact same thing happened to them. And now I got the Ruger back and I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna compare the Ruger 40, which is about a $500 gun, with my high point nine millimeter, which is about a $180 gun, and to see the difference between the two. Now, I often carry concealed, and you know you can see the gun here, and I don't mind folks seeing my not by a uh, 38. But then I also have the Ruger 9 millimeter here, and I often carry my high point, big old clumsy 9 millimeter. This is the 40 millimeter Ruger. So what we're gonna do? I have the uh, 180 grain 40, the uh, 130 grain 38 special. And I have the, uh, the nine millimeter uh, grain, uh, but also have my little 22 uh, mag that I'm gonna shoot a couple times. But I wanna compare these two. These are two pistols so far in, in what people like. This is heavy, nine millimeter. This is very light. This is the most accurate gun I've ever had, but it has some problems with it. And I'm gonna look at what they have done and see if they've changed it. I'll give an example. You know, most times you have to range. That's really matter if you're how you're shooting, how a gun goes. People say this cheap gun is inaccurate. Every gun you put a thousand rounds through is going to be accurate for you. But let's say you walk into a 7-Eleven, you walk up with somebody armed robbery, then know you're behind them, and you put the safety on the nine millimeter. Can you hear it? Barely hear it. You walk up to somebody at a 7-Eleven with this 40 caliber. Hear that? You're no longer surprise me. They know you're behind them. It's very loud. In a gunfight, which you're never, never gonna be in, you can eject the uh, nine millimeter, slide in a new clip, and it's basically sound. You know, you, that's the problem with the, with the Ruger. This is Mason again. I wanna demonstrate to you the loading of both the uh, high point nine millimeter and the Ruger 40 SE. This is the concealed weapon. Uh, when they ship the, the Ruger to you, they ship it with a loader. A loader. You want to know why? Almost impossible to load this with your hand. Now, I'm an old dude. I got a little arthritis, so maybe a little difficulty, but I've had young guys at the, at the gun store try to load this. The 9mm doesn't come with a loader because even with arthritis, you can pretty much load it the way you want to load it all the way to the end, and it's, it's done. There's no problem. I'm going to put three of them in there. Yeah, it's easy. With the nine millimeter, with the 40 millimeter, it's almost impossible to load this. Oh, it's impossible, you gotta hold it down. Can you imagine a gunfight reloading with you, this thing? It's impossible. So they give you a loader to bring it down, and it's easy that way. So you gotta carry the loader with you, or come with a whole lot of magazines, and that's one of the problems with it, and it's still difficult. I've had young folks try it, Old people try it. Only one old guy in a gun store was able to do this. Put it to his chest and, and it took him a little while to do it. You better have an accuracy enough with this and not to have to reload it unless you got time to do that. So one of the differences. Also, I'm going to demonstrate how you re-engage the clip and how you put that pistol in the chamber. How to put the bullet in the chamber. A little difficult. Back in a minute, I'm going to show you after load everything up. I'm going to show you how to reload both guns and see which one is better. Back in a second. It's pretty easy to do that. Quiet. See how quiet that is? But this Ruger 40 is very light, lighter than this. But you eject it, 
and you cannot you cannot put that in there quietly you can't you gotta slam it you gotta hold it upside down and slam it in a gunfight really <laughs> so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take a break and load up I gotta take out my my concealed carry hollow points very expensive and put in my uh, 180 grain you got you gotta get in there Ruger is great a lot of safeties on it this is heavy like carrying a brick this is like carrying a feather the most accurate gun I've had but I would hate to have to change so I carry my uh, 15 round in here all the time take a break uh, get back and start shooting at my targets spray what we don't what we have here behind the pond I have a shooting range it's too far away behind the dam which means those of you who have a pond know behind the dam is going to be muddy uh, that on top of the dam, I have the uh, bench. Next to it, I have a log and a tire. That's 90 yards away. I have a satellite dish into the backyard, which is 70 yards away. Behind me is my property. So if you if you behind the uh, behind that uh, satellite dish is the pistol range. So I'm gonna shoot from the, from the porch today because I don't feel like going out there in the water. It's been raining all week. Uh, I'm gonna demonstrate these guns for you and see if Ruger has fixed this. I'm going to put 15 rounds to it and see if it's fixed. Back in a second. I'm going to first start off with the 40 cal Ruger. They said they repaired it. The first thing I want to show you is how difficult it is to inject something in the chamber. Right now, that's in the chamber. You cannot, you cannot get, you cannot, a lot of force, which is difficult. Then they, it's so hard to pull it back, you got to do it this way. The, the indicator shows that it's a bullet in the chamber, but that's a lot of hard work and it's, a, it's very noisy, very cumbersome. But once you got it in here, this is the lightest, most accurate gun I've ever had. Uh, a lot of safety features on it, but man, last time I did this, all the reviews said after two clips, it jammed on you at the last clip. We're gonna see. I have another spray clip right here with the extension. There's a reason why Ruger sends you the loader with this. It's almost impossible to reload. You better have all the bullets you need in clips when you go somewhere. So we're gonna try the uh, 70 yard target. Safety is now off. And then we're gonna see what we do with the second round. Put it in there. Ruger suggests you not use the release, just you bring it back. So that indicates the bullet is in it. And I have 15 rounds in it. Last time it, it, it jammed my last round. Let's see. Perfect, no jam. The lightest, most accurate gun I've ever had. Hard to reload. I hate to be in a battle with this and have to reload it, but I would love to be in a battle with this and have a clear shot at some, something. I will hit it. Now, my nine millimeter. It's a brick, but easy to reload, lighter. Here's why I decided to go up to the 40 ounce. Let's be honest. The, I mean, the, the uh, 40 caliber. The 9 millimeter caliber, too many times folks get up. You look at the two most well-known cases of 9 millimeter shooting, Trevon Martin and Michael Brown. Trevon Martin was shot three inches from his chest, center mass. He still got up and walked around before he collapsed. Then you have Michael Brown, six times he was shot and it still came at the cop and took a head shot to put him down with a nine millimeter. I'm sorry, folks, I don't have that much time. So I, I went up to the nine millimeter, to 40 millimeter, 
Everyone said Glock. Glock 19 is great. It's wonderful. But I'm usually carrying my pistol with my wife and grandkids in the car at the mall going to the 7-Eleven. The Glock does not have a safety. I want to have the ability to put the safety on until I need to take it off. And I can go into my holster and have my safety off and gun drawn in less than a second. I can click it as I go in. I'm clicking safety off. And it's, it's memory to my muscles. I bring that out. This has a, this has a safety. I can click it as I go into my, into my holster. I rather have a safety. So the Glock, wonderful gun. This Ruger, I think it's a better gun, more accurate and light. So we're gonna try the nine millimeter now. Same target, 70 yards away. I shoot 70 yards to 90 yards because I, if I'm accurate at 70 yards, I'm accurate at three or four yards. Not as accurate, not as powerful, but easier to take out, put back in again, easier to deal with. Um, I'm gonna keep my nine millimeter. I'm gonna keep it because it's great to have around, but this is now my new carry, 40, 40 millimeter, very, very light, very, very accurate. Uh, the, the problems I have with it, I can live around it. Uh, when I go into a store, my safety is off anyway. Before I get the car, it's usually off anyway. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna have to use more than 10 rounds. In most situations, I can't see using 15 rounds, but I usually carry 15 round clip. Uh, I think that if you have a situation where you have to reload, you're gonna be in trouble. But if you're accurate enough, you shouldn't have to have that problem. This is Mason, see you for the next video. Stay right or be left.